Hi guys! There you go! Look at the baliti. Hmm. Taku kaya na siyang punuan sa baliti, guys. And that's the barn of the ship. There, where we have to watch after an hour. And the um, Australian map, the lower, that's the Tasmanian devil, the Tasmanian state. Look, guys, how messy this tree is. Bisan asa ang mga ang mga roots. This is what we call the witch tree. George, this is what we call witch tree. Witch tree. Yeah. Then you know, at night time, like 12 midnight, a lot of noise you heard from this tree. Kadlukan kay siya ng kahoy ay niya mahapon na raba. Makaulip pa kami ani. There you go, David. Trains passing by. Wudili na kaya siya puno. Na maulit na siguro ang uban ay. Hi guys, we're here in the ship show. There, the stage is ready for their show for Richard and Elvis here. Look at that too. Yeah, them two will have the. Nag lunch pa sila. Barbara's the lazy sheep. She's a five year old. She's been around a wee while. Now we just make them comfortable between our legs. We make sure we keep all four feet off the ground so they can't get away. And then we start by taking a little bit of wool off. Now we always start with the belly, it's always a little bit shorter. Sometimes a little bit dirty and dusty. We're just going to keep it all separate. Now we use our belly wool for the uh, covering of pull table itself. Covering the tennis ball. Mm -hmm. That's big. Don't Couple more clothes, I'll have it all off. Yeah. Now we're bringing that belly off. We just put it to one side. <gasps> Sorry. Oh. Now we catch our sheep here and crop them twice the year just to help eliminate some of those eggs they sometimes get when they go into the fresh green feed in the spring. That also helps eliminate some of that fly strike. They sometimes get down here in the southeast corner in the hot, humid weather. Now as I start to open up this back leg, you'll be able to see just how white this wool really is. Some of the finest wool grown anywhere in the world comes off these merinos. Some of those fancy Italian suits. Just tidy up around this tail. A couple of blows over the backside. And then we'll go up there for a haircut. Here we are, folks, haircut time. <laughs> That's so cute. There you are. <laughs> 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 now just tie up around the side of the face, down behind the ears and the horns. Now this is what we call wigging. You take a little bit of it all the way from around the eyes. When they go out to the paddocks, they can see where all the feed is. Now this is the hardest flow to do on these sheep. Start up the neck because of that big neck wrinkle. Now the hand pitch goes in underneath the wall. You can't see where we're going. So we're going to go and feel the luck. Now some of our contractors actually send their learners here as a way to a shearing school. So they can learn how to do this properly. Don't you kids try this on the family pet at home. Leave it to the professional. Now, as you can see all that yellow stuff in there, that's lanolin. It just comes out and we send our wool away to be washed. Now, the lady sheep down oh, here wow. is the This is where we get the most amount of wool off. Poor sheep. Look at the position. Now, speaking of the fastest time, that record goes for a kiwi. Dave Bacon. Now, he's sure a sheep. 
in 14 seconds. Now that's pretty quick going. That was another Kiwi, Dion Kick. He holds the record to the most seats drawn in a day. He shot 866 crossbred lambs in a nine hour working day. Oh. Now that bunch is a lot of sheep. Now because this is an Australian show, it's nearly finished. you want to hear some of this is actually China with 140 million sheep. Come on Barbara, up you get. Sit up. Thank you. There we are folks, that's how we share them here in Australia. I'll just put Barbara through here with her mates.